What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the Golden Master, the GM of iOS 7 onto your iOS device now. Now just uh, about two or three days ago Apple released uh, the Gold Master which is pretty much the final version of a uh, beta version when Apple uh, puts together you know iOS 6 or iOS 5 even iOS 7 the most recent one uh, they release a gold master the week before um, the actual version goes out to the public and it's actually the exact same thing however they just want to get some final uh, opinions on it make sure everything is working good mm -hmm. uh, and it is only for developers um, however uh, people can access this a lot easier. Uh, it's not as difficult as it was with the betas with the glitch. Um, it's a lot easier and you don't have to be registered at all. So today in this video, uh, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get it. So the first thing you're going to need uh, is you're going to need your actual IPSW firmware. You can see I have mine right here. Um, there will be a link in the description to go ahead and grab these. Here's the uh, website that that link is going to take you to right here on hackiphone.me. Um, you're not going to be hacking anything, uh, but uh, this is where the links are going to be. And as you can see, when we scroll down here, uh, there's two betas for uh, uh, iTunes 11.1. These are Mac only. You could download those if you want. I recommend going with one of them uh, to help you out while you're downloading uh, iOS 7. Um, and as you can see here, here are all of the links for uh, the Golden Master. So you got all the ones for the iPad 4, uh, all the ones for the iPad Mini, all the ones for the iPad 3, all the ones for the iPad 2, the one for the fifth generation iPod Touch. Uh, and all of the ones for the iPhone 4, 4S, and 5. Uh, obviously, there's not going to be one out for the 5S and 5C versions of the iPhone because when they ship, they will be running uh, regular public versions or the Gold Masters, uh, whatever Apple decides to load on them on uh, shipment date, on release date. So you won't have to worry about that. But all the links are here uh, for you to download. Please make sure you check the model of your uh, device, whether it's your iPad or your iPhone. Uh, please make sure you got the right model. Uh, this messes up people every time. For example, my iPhone, uh, since it's on AT&T, and um, it's GSM. Mine is A1428. Now, this could change for you guys. You, most Verizon carriers will have A1429. Uh, but please just take, a ca take the case off your iPhone if you have one and just check the back and it'll read you the model number. Just please figure out the right one. Uh, a lot of people got confused on this um, and said that their devices weren't working or iTunes wasn't working. So please, I'm asking you, just download the right one. Just just take some time to look at the model. It really isn't that hard. It's on the back of the device. Um, so once you downloaded this, it won't take too long. Um, you can just click it and it'll be, I think it'll be a direct download. But anyways, um, I did it a couple days ago, so I don't really remember. But anyways, here's my IPSW file right here. Uh, on my desktop. As a matter of fact, I think it will take you to Mega Upload or something. If it doesn't, uh, sorry about that. Maybe they changed it. Uh, but anyways, here is my IPSW. This is the exact version uh, for the iPhone 5 A1428 model. Um, so just have it on your desktop or your downloads folder, wherever you can remember to have easy access from, uh, and go ahead and open up iTunes. And as you can see here, I got uh, my iPhone 5 page loaded up here. So just go ahead and connect your device through the USB cable. You can't do it over Wi-Fi. You do have to have the USB cable connected. Uh, and we're actually going to do this exact same thing um, as we would with the betas. I just figured, you know, since uh, it's a GM now, it's a bit different. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to hold down Option and click Check for Update. Uh, that's if you're on a Mac. If you are on a PC, uh, I think it's shift click. Again, I have not used a PC computer in several years um, for doing stuff like this. So honestly, guys, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's shift click um, and then click check for update. Like I said, just click the little check for update button right here. Um, now you could do shift click restore and it won't like after you restore it with the gold master, it won't tell you that you need to be registered. It will let you have access. It happens like that with all the gold masters. The betas are always locked strictly to developers. Um, but since the gold masters are kind of like the final public version, they pretty much are, um, that's why you were able to get them. So you can actually do either. Uh, if you want a clean restore, that's completely up to you. Um, but I recommend if you want it fast and done, you don't have to worry about erasing everything and putting it back on. It's completely up to you, though. It's your call. I recommend uh, just checking for updates. So, you know, option or shift click, uh, option for Mac, shift for Windows. Uh, and you're going to locate uh, your firmware and then click on it, you know, whether it's in desktop, uh, documents, downloads, anywhere it is. And then just go ahead, click open. 
uh, iTunes will update to iOS 7 and will verify the update with Apple and then you're going to click update or restore whichever one you choose. Now I'm already running uh, the final golden master of iOS 7 on my iPhone 5 so I actually can click cancel. I don't have to worry about it. Um, and I will say it's running very smoothly. It's actually a lot more responsive, a lot more faster. There's a whole new sound scheme with ringtones, uh, charging tones, and a lot of sounds were enhanced here and there. So uh, definitely go ahead and grab it. And if you do wind up downloading this, you actually will not have to download iOS 7.0 when it comes out next Wednesday, uh, September 18th, because like I said, it's the exact same thing. There's no difference at all. Uh, Apple says it's the it's trust me it's the exact same thing. So if you want to get it early and just get it done and not worry about anything else, go ahead and download it now. And when Apple releases 7.0.1 or 7.1 or whatever will come after 7.0, uh, pretty sure you'll just be able to do settings, general software update, or go right through your computer uh, and just update to that. And it's that simple. Now you have iOS 7, uh, the full version, you know, known as the Gold Master because it came out a little bit early uh, on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.